Hello, 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 and welcome back. We are doing something different, as you can see. This is not Dead Space, this is not uh, Sons of the Forest, which we've not done any more of yet. Um, this is Vault Hunters, which is a Minecraft mod pack made by Iskal85 and a team of people that he has, like, helping him. Um, it looks like a very fun mod pack. It looks like something new, which for me, I've never played it. Um, which, if you've been here for a long time, you know that I tried to play Minecraft at the start. Maybe it wasn't that interesting for me, so the content didn't become like super interesting for you guys, and it was noticeable. Which is why we pivoted to Dead Space, a completely different thing that I'd never done before either. And now we're going to pivot back to this as well. Um, in terms of how often we'll upload, I think I'm going to try and find a little rhythm because I think this is going to require a little bit more editing because there's going to be a lot of mundane stuff where you will see me maybe just like mining for ages just to get resources, which is not something you want. It's not something, well, I don't know if it's something you want. My plan realistically is to do an uncut version and a cut version. And it will, the cut version might come down from like a 40 minute video to 20 minutes and I'll upload that and then the uncut version will just be 40 minutes of me rambling and doing minor things. But it might be every two days or so, depending on how I do with the editing, because I still have a life around this and I still need to, to do my work and living and all of that. So, without further ado, let's get in. I've already generated a world only because um, it ramps my computer up a little bit when it generates, so I was like, let's just generate a world. This is the second one I generated, because the first one was just middle of nowhere. Um, and this one at least is in like, a, like it was literally like an island somewhere in the middle of the sea. No tree. And I wasn't building a boat out of nothing to try and find land and the whole thing. So we are here. We have a world. Um, there's a lot that I don't know how to do in this game, but I do know that there's a lot of stuff that initially is probably going to be cut because it's a lot of doing the base game. So um, we'll have to get like diamonds and maybe netherite realistically and maybe go and kill the ender dragon and uh, get all sorts of... We don't need to kill the ender dragon actually. I don't think that's in like the necessities. I mean, it's uh, some of the resources maybe we'll need, but we can at least, if we get to diamonds, then we can work from there because we need stuff like vault stone to build the the thing and to get the shards to make the things and we're gonna try and make this as interactive for you guys and as teaching for you guys as possible um, yes I did notice I spawned by a village actually which is very handy um, I don't fully know where we are. are we at the top of a mountain or oh it's actually really pretty loads of piggles oh this is very nice okay we can work with this we can work with this we need a tree first Oh, I put the bonus chest on as well, just because sometimes you never know. At least if I if I spawn with this, I can get some stuff. Uh, there we go. But yeah, so I'm really excited to play this actually, because as I said, like I've never, I've never touched this either. Oh, this is going to be. Oh, we've got auto jump on. This is how you know I've never played this because it's a fresh install with bloody auto jump. Um, let's quickly turn that off. Uh, control, auto jump off, there we go. I like to decide when I jump. Um, let's just get like a little bit. Let's convert this down real quick. A lot of stuff is actually locked behind um, learning points as well. Like you have to have knowledge stars and stuff, I think is what they're called, to be able to use a lot of um, tech. So we have to definitely try and progress quickly so we can make our life a little bit easier. Uh, let's have a look at this village though. Is it? Eh, it's not, not me. Oh, it's really scattered though. It goes like all the way down there, which is quite cute to be fair. Is there a blacksmith maybe? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, would have been nice. Uh, I might edit the audio at some point if it's a little too loud, but for now, let's just have a, a bit of a browse around here. Are there any, any loots? Ooh, potatoes. Let's take this stuff. We'll leave the bed for now because we probably will live in this village. Um, it's probably not the worst idea to try and live in this um, because villagers will be handy. Yeah, let's get all of this. Wait. I don't know. 
we need to learn the quick sort key because I think that's going to be very helpful from what I've seen in Vault, um, getting yourself set up. But that's fine. It does sound a little loud to me. Let's, uh, it's the music. Let's drop the music down to like 30% as well. Uh, kind of helped. Okay, there we go. Let's get ourselves a little better equipped. That's the first edition thing uh, we could do with getting some more wood. But yeah, so this is what we're going to be doing. Um, I think probably is, the likelihood is we're already in the uncut version of the game uh, footage. I don't know, it really depends. Like, as I said, like a lot of this is just going to be almost speedrunning the start because you just need to get to the actual game. Um, and there's going to be a lot of very mundane stuff to do. Um, let's grab that. We could do with probably penning in these villagers, um, which might mean, in fact, moving some of these beds around so that it's one room, and at least the majority of the villagers will go into that room at the end of the night. Yeah, this might not be the worst plan try and trap them in, like, one house. I only need, like, two villagers, realistically. Uh, what do you sell? Okay. Bricks. Um, I'm not the best with the villager trades, either, at this point. Like, it's never been, like, something that I've excelled at. Uh, we've done this building. That building's just got a brewing station in. Although, it's got two villagers in. What are you doing? Uh, for redstone, I mean, this guy is the guy that eventually will give us ender pearls. I'm pretty sure, so he might not be the worst person to start trading with, but we'll give that a second. Um, I'm looking for beds. Hello? Beds? Uh, okay, there's actually not that many, um, there's two bells. But there's not that many beds or anything. There's another. Let's break that. And I'm guessing the rest are just down there, so we're going to have to jump down there in a second. Um, but this is this is day one, basically. Um, the village will help us to sort of speed through. Oh, there's an icy area. Ooh, very pretty. Very pretty indeed. I'm going to try and avoid killing the animals for now, because uh, there's a, a little mod or thing that they've coded in for this specifically called Animal Pens, where you can kind of collect animals and they become much more dense and useful in there, but you need to collect them in jars first. So avoid killing them, just eat off the land for now and we'll go from there. Uh, who's, are there any villagers actually down here or did they all spawn upstairs? I'm imagining they all spawned upstairs because I didn't see many villagers down here and there are a lot up there. Hello? Hello mister? Are you, is there anybody here? It doesn't look to be. So we'll take all the beds. And we'll take... Oh, there's one. There's two. Okay. There is two. Maybe... For these two, for now... Can't we... Wait, can't we... Oh, we can. Oh, I forgot about this. So you can actually shift-click on these villagers. Um, and they go into your hand. So actually, we don't even need this village, technically. I'm standing here like I need to, to keep this village, but we can technically just kind of abandon it if we grab everyone, which is good. Uh, how do we get back up? How do we get down? Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. I think we came down over here. Yeah, let's go and shift click all these villagers. Uh, we will use this as a base camp though still. Um, I'm just going to put them all into a chest. I think that's the, the safer bet. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Chest. Villager, villager. Villager. Lovely. Come, come here. Yes. Come here. Come here. Come here. How many have we got so far? I think that's a, it's a good start. I forgot we could do this. This is the most useful mod you could have probably is the one to be able to just kind of grab these guys and stop them from 
causing havoc. Uh, I think that's everyone. Uh, it was not a big village anyway, so that's fine. Um, what we'll do is we will now... So realistically, the, the next step is to find Vault Stone, as far as I'm aware. Um, so if I look here, Vault Stone. This stuff is what we need. Um, oh no, it's Sky Stone. Uh, this stuff is what we need. So I can... Oh, if I mark it with A, you can't uh, you can't do anything other than mine it. Um, let's check this in here for a second. Uh, let's let's make sure that everyone's got a bed because that'll tell me that I've picked up all the villagers then. Because it should just be one per bed as far as I'm aware. One, two, three. Yeah, perfect. Cool. And this will be our bed for now. Um, Set up a little little house in here. Uh, oh, we're running low on food. Cool. There's our crafting bench over there. Let's just quickly grab that, and then we need to go probably mining in the one of these big chasms over here. So actually, we could probably just take all of this with us. Uh, looking at it, I don't think there's anything that I'd be too mad if I lost it for now. We could do with grabbing that wheat at some point, but not major. Okay, right, where were the chasms we saw? One was over here, right? Yeah, this is one. So we're looking... Oh, there's a mushroom down there. Um, what's the time? It's getting to night time, so it's probably not the best... Like, it's not the worst time, sorry, to go down here um, and just do a little bit of a explore explore. Uh, we could do with some iron and maybe some coal. I see some coal, but... Not the most useful spot to grab. There you go, that's better. Let's grab a little bit of coal. Um, but yeah, so everything's kind of useful in, in Vault Hunters. There's there's nothing you can look at and you go, oh, I don't need to collect that. Like, I normally, nine times out of ten, avoid copper. Because there's no use for it in my books besides aesthetic and the lightning rods. But again, like, well, <laughs> what use is a lightning rod? Um, but in Vault Hunters, to create the Vault Crystals, which we'll show you later, um, they require all sorts of random stuff. So it might be like, oh, I need 900 copper uh, ingots, or even copper ore, or whatever, to build this vault. Um, so you kind of need everything at your disposal to be able to um, play this game. So there's a lot of farm building and stuff that you need to do. What is this? I don't have the the mod on that shows me what everything is. And um, we don't have a sword either. Not the most helpful. I'm pretty sure you get um isn't the mod to wait. Um uh, is it in controls? No not mouse sense. Key bindings. Um what am I looking? No, it's not Whaler. Um, I don't know, I'll have to find out how to turn that on. That'll be something I'll do in between episodes. There's no no issue for that. Um, I just need to find some iron, which would be good. Or just tons of coal, apparently. Which is not what I need. Let's make sure... Let's also, for your amusement, make sure that lighting is full. Brightness, there you go. Bright, apply. There you go. So you guys can see a little better. Uh, water leading maybe out. Hmm, okay. Well, let's mine this quickly. I can hear some mobs and stuff, but realistically what we're looking for is dark stone. I think it does spawn low down, possibly, so we might need to delve a little bit lower. So let's get some coal at least so we can light our way down there, and we'll uh, we'll see what we can get going. Uh, I'm hoping to do some better editing. I think that's the one bit of feedback I get from every, even the Dead Space videos is like, because all I kind of do is play the game on Dead Space and then chop it up, even minorly, and then just send it out. Um, 
because I don't have the time to do like in-depth editing when I'm trying to do like one episode a day, which I get hand hand on heart. I get I haven't done recently. Um, I have recorded some more. I've got another two episodes recorded and we're almost near the end of the game, which is why I'm trying to kind of like diversify and find something new to play. So like Sons of the Forest or this. My Sons of the Forest, again, could have done with better editing, but I was trying to stick within the parameters of a video a day. Um, and maybe for a, a small YouTuber like myself, uh, a video a day is the worst thing I could ever try and infer that I could do. Let's just mine this. We can't mine that. It's too too heavy. Um, I think that's Uraninite. Um, but yeah, so it's probably impossible for me to do a video a day right now. Uh, so we're going to try and cut back a little bit and improve the quality. I think that's like the better... Like if you had a one of those graphs where you had to pick like two things that you wanted, I think people would rather pick for quality um, content than more content, if that makes sense. I mean, you'll still get two videos out of like every video I produce because I'm going to do the uncut version. So if you are really interested in watching my, my ramblings, you can always do that. This feels bad, but it also feels like the right move to go down here. Huzzah! It is I, conqueror of this world. Um, ooh. Oh no. Please no. Cool. That didn't even kill the second one, did it? Maybe it did? Hello? Hello? It did kill the second one. Good, 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 good. That's exactly what I planned. From the beginning. Load of mushies. Oh, is that iron? Yes, okay, cool. So we got some iron here. At least we can make a shield now. Let's uh, torch up. We can make a shield now. Um, we can't do much else because we've only got three pieces, but three is better than none. Uh, he says we can make a shield as he just continues to run off. There we go. Um, it would be lovely to run into vault stone, because I also need vault stone for the pens. Um, it needs just glass and polished vault stone. Um, so I need, need a fair bit of it to get started. And you need to make a, like a nether portal basically out of vault stone to get started as well. Um, do we just try and head down further? Because the villagers are safe, so. See ya. Ow. Ooh, bad. Oh, tried to block clutch there for some reason. Did not. Ow! Stoop. Stoop hitting me. Blizz. I hit you. Oh, no. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's just... Take a second to work out what happened there, which was bad. Hello? Hello? So many creepers! Why? And they're doing no damage to zombies either. I'd like to report that. They are doing nothing. Uh, let's just again heal up in the, the most nerdy little way of a little hole in the wall. Um, I don't even know why I went in there, honestly. I, it's not like I stayed in there. Um, dimensional shards, right? Yeah, okay. So a lot, of, as I said at the start, a lot of mods are locked behind knowledge walls, is what I'm going to call them. Um, where basically you cannot access... Oh no, that's a baby zombie, that's a baby zombie. Where? Okay. Nowhere. Uh, what's this? Raw tin, okay. Um, I hear the baby zombie. Is he un underground? Nope. And um, these are big mushrooms, you know. These are these are big boys. Let's collect the blocks because we're gonna need them either way. Um, I hope this went deeper. Maybe. Oh no. Should have made that shield by now. 
Should have made that shield by now. Ooh. You're watching me at my peak in Minecraft right now. Nothing can kill me. More iron. Okay, cool. What we need to do is we need to mine some cobble and make a furnace and make that goddamn shield. Because that will save our lives. I'm not a shield person, normally. I'm not a shield person at all, but if there's one thing I've learned recently is it will save my life. Um, so let's do this. Well, we've got a lot of coal, actually, now. I didn't realise how much coal we had. Um, let's get that smelting while we come over here real quick. Oh, so much iron. Okay, good, good, good. This will help us lots. We become a... Maybe even a little bit of armour will help us a fair bit. Let's just pop up here so no one can get us. Except skelly boys. Skelly boys and spiders and creepers. So everyone besides <laughs> zombies. Nice. I don't know if there are other mobs in here. I know there are mobs in the the actual vaults that are different. Like, the you've got the vault boys and stuff. Oh. I was like, what's that noise for a second? It's just the music. A lovely bit of... Piano. Uh, lovely. A load of iron. Let's make sure we can get out. So, yeah, to speedrun this realistically, I, I don't know if we could do a vault with um, with just iron gear or not. Um, I think it's very difficult to do with just iron gear. But you could do it, I take it? Oh, wait, you can't make shields in this, can you? Right. Wait, don't look at my spelling. <laughs> shield. Yeah, you can't make them in this. You can only make armor. Yeah, because you get vault shields, which are like auto block for you and stuff. Um, okay, so not great. But vault gear works outside of vaults as well. So part of my thought process is maybe we go in with iron gear and then try and get some some stuff like keep popping in and out because the more we can unlock skills the more um the more stuff we can do outside of the vault like there's a growing skill and stuff that allows you to um to grow things better uh, i don't know how to get to skills actually that's a key binding i'll have to find but not really necessary for day one um, but you can see my mana in the bottom corner down here um, okay, let's, uh, let's make some pants, and then, yeah, cool, we can start to kind of suit up a little bit. Let's have a quick browse around here. What's that? I don't know. There's another creeper. We could do it making a sword, you know. It's actually not the worst idea. There we go. Becoming the pro that we must become. Okay, so this does go quite deep, actually, because we get uh, deep slate now, don't we? Okay. Right, yeah, so we will go down here and try and explore a little more. Um, it seems like a, a good plan. Oh, another creeper. Honestly, they've ramped the spawn rate on these boys. Come here, you lad. Oh no. Hello? Hello, no. No, no, no. Not today. Not today, please. Oh god. Oh no. Death by creeper immediately. Um, does it show my death point on the map? Oh, it does. It does. I can see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just doesn't seem to appear on the map. I can see my little, little dead skelly face. Oh, there it is now. It's just got to be closer. No problem. We'll go back down. Uh, oh, no! Oh, no! <sighs> Two deaths already. It's bad. It's not good. <laughs> okay. We gotta work our way down a bit more reasonably. Idiot. Full brain dummy. 
is what I am. So there's my death. So technically, we, we had low hearts there, but if we land on this, better. We didn't have anything on that corpse anyway. This corpse we had stuff on. Can I transfer items? Oh no! What the? Oh god, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Death is coming for me. Okay. Okay. So, what have we learnt? Scary outside world. Yes. Uh, we do have our armor on, but as you see, it's it's not as good as normal armor anymore. Uh, it's actually very bad. Uh, potato. There's nothing for us. And I need them to plant. Yes, come into the light. Burn yourself. You're not burning. Why are you not burning? Ha! Ah, ah. Ha! Ah, ah. Why are you not burning? You guys should be burning, right? Oh man. They really did a number on me. Oh, see how clutch that was? Man. This game is hard. It says it's hard. I didn't realize that everything was a little bit harder um, we could do with making our chest plate pretty badly don't need shears I could do with a bucket but I'd rather make boots um, let's cook half of these so we can at least heal a little bit better um, man brutal let's even do this just to make some better food Okay, but we're almost fully geared now, um, which is good. We could have done with two more iron to get a sword, but can't expect the world, can I? Okay, once these are cooked, we'll we'll move over that way and try and drop down a little bit and see what we can find. Currently going to stop picking up all the iron I see. There is a skelly here. Damn it! How did you hit me like that? Damn! Really going brutal. Is that more iron? It is more iron. Okay, cool. That'll do us good. One, two. The exact amount I asked for. Well, if that's how this works. I could really do with some diamonds. And now I turn this corner. Di no, nothing. No diamonds. Well, you can always try. Um, so it's down here, isn't it, that we've seen Deep Slate. And I think this stuff has to spawn quite low. So we can work our way down slowly. Oh, water. Lovely. Hey, yep. Lots of lava. We could do with diamonds, as I've said as well. Oh, this does go quite a bit on, doesn't it? And a shield would be good now. I, as I said, I'm I'm very much no shield boy, but right now when you can't have it is when you want it the most, right? Because there's a lot of people that could do with not just. <gasps> oh no! We're an idiot. We're a fool. Damn it. Wasting time, armor, everything. How do we approach this without dying? Let's heal up a little bit more, and we're just going to charge him. Juked. That's one. Okay. We need to flee. We need to flee. Oh, he got us. He got us. He didn't get us. We need to flee. Just full stop. Flee. Okay. Um, let's do this for the sake of it. Oh, 
he's coming. He is coming. No, he's not. Okay. Let's heal up. I don't want to eat the potatoes. It sounds dumb, but there's reason behind it. Because if I can't plant them, I'm going to have to go hunting for them. We could make some mushroom stew, couldn't we? It's always, always a good food source, right? We do this and this and this, right? Yeah, there you go. I mean, we've still got hunger, but mushroom stew is mushroom stew. Uh, okay. All right, let's wait for a one notch to go down, and then we go back in with the full regen. Come on, tick away. There you go. Okay. Dodge. Hit. 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 Okay. Right. What are we doing down here? It's dark. We're looking for blue shiny pebbles. Blue shiny pebbles. Oh, not again. Not again. We're running out of axe. Let's pick axe in for a second. We need our crafting bench. We left it? Shit. Okay. Oh no, we didn't. It's up here. Because we could do with making a new axe, I think. Um, let's also just throw into this lava for a second. The old axe, the old axe, the old pickaxe. Like, we're just carrying this stuff around for no reason. Uh, let's also do this. Make some of that and do this and then do that there we go 48 torches now we can run around a little bit more reasonably lighting our way up blue shiny pebbles oh no duck and dive duck dodge dip dive oh a mine shaft oh piece of candy oh no oh no running through this place is a bad plan there's pots what are these pots for? Wrong blue shiny pebbles. Redstone. Man, this is a cave, isn't it? Yeah, I think we need to double back and start mining some of this stuff, I think. Let's get some of that. Let's get the iron, because we still need a helmet, don't we? And we could do with an iron axe, to be fair. If this is our primary weapon. Okay. Still looking for diamonds. I'm also very bad with new Minecraft diamond hunting. Um, I will point that out now. Nothing. Nothing good. We need to kill this skeleton. Ooh, a record disc. Ow. Damn it. Damn it. We need to retreat. Retreat. Eat our soup. Eat our soup. Okay. And strategic attack. Strategic. Yes. One hit. Okay. Give me something good. What is this stuff? Ash. Pointless. This would be good, though. Let's grab this. Um. Still no diamonds, right? Just lapis. Hmm. We should probably mine it anyway, because we're going to need it for enchanting. Let's just get a little bit of it. Let's do that. Oh, wrong move, but that's fine. Um, do we go this way or do we go into the mine shaft? Where there might be chests with diamonds in. I feel like I'm voting chests with diamonds as a, as a good plan. 
the iron first. Sorry, I'm squinting a little bit because one, I, I can't see a huge amount and it's very bright in my uh, office, bedroom space thing. Uh, so it makes it double hard for me. Still looking for, is that it? Don't know. We'll see. No, that doesn't look like it. I thought that was a uh, vault stone for a second. Ah, <gasps> oh, I thought that was diamond. This is useful though, right? What is this again? No, floor right, not useful. I thought that was um, vault ore. I think it's called. As as you can see, I I know nothing for this this entire. Um, game, which is nice. It gives it, it makes it a little fresher. Oh my god! Please no spawn. Oh no no! Don't poison me. Flee, flee once again. Okay. We need a sword to get through that. Um, we could mark this on the map though, couldn't we? Uh, waypoint. No. What? No. We want to add a waypoint wherever we are. What? No. Okay. I don't know. J? No. I don't know how to, to do that. That's fine. Well, is it fine? No. But do I care right now? No. Not the biggest loss to lose a, a spider spawner. Jingle jangle? I hear you. As long as you're not close close, it's fine. Let's maybe stop for a second and make our... Did we pick up our furnace? If we picked up our furnace, that's great. Let's make our helmet. Yes, we did. Okay, cool. Let's... Didn't pick up our crafting bench, but that's fine. Let's make off uh, the rest of this quickly. Uh, we will make a crafting bench to be able to actually make the helmet and maybe make a sword. Jingle jangle, no. He gone? He gone. Banished to the shadow realm with you. I think we want to explore down here. What's that? Oh, he's still in a pot. Still looking for that vault stone. Because basically, once we find it, it should be a big vein. We'll dig a load of it and then kind of bail. Um, because we don't. Once we've got it, I think it's easier to get inside vaults than it is to get from, like, outside of vaults. Words and stuff. Okay, fully armoured now. It's given us four bars of armour. Um, we'll make a sword, and then we'll head on. Two, there we go. Let's just break this. Let's do this. Let's do that. Sword. Yeah, we need to maybe make some more room. Let's do that. And then what do we drop? Oh, well, we combine that. There we go. We'll leave the crafting bench. We'll leave it. There's no point in taking a crafting bench. It's not beneficial right now. We can get wood quite easily. This first episode might be a very long uncut episode in a very short first episode. <laughs> I really thought we'd make some progress in the first 40 minutes. But what have we done? We've died twice. Collected a load of villagers and armoured up. That's about it. It's not thrilling. Um, we're exploring though. We're adventurous. Looking for shiny pebbles. 
Oh, was that a chest? Minecart? No, it wasn't. Man, this is this is big. Oh, is that it? I think that's that's it. I think that's vault stone. Possibly. There's a spawner down there. What the fuck is this? What is this? Oh, that's bad, I think. I think that's very bad. It doesn't look good. Let's just um, bridge over to this for a second. Yes, it is. It is. It is. Okay, this is what we need. We've actually achieved something in the first 40 minutes, which is what we were just complaining about not doing. Because you can see these little dots here. This is what it means that it's vault stone. Okay, cool. Let's get rid of this, and let's just start mining. Make sure. Vault cobble. Yes. We got it. Okay. Let's just mine it all. It's uh, going to be what we need to do. And as I said, we may as well mine it all now, because then we're just going to go back up to the surface for a second. Because uh, at least with this, we can um, we can do the pens. We can start to kind of crack into the mod a little bit, which will be good for us. Um, so we still need diamonds, realistically. But at a bare minimum, this will set us on the right path. Oh, and you see these? These are chipped vault rocks. So you use these with chromatic iron, which is another thing we're gonna to have to find underground, um, to make vault rocks. And that is what you use to then get into vaults, basically. It's a very complicated mod, but I think once you get the basics down, like the vault rocks and stuff, it actually becomes very simple and you kind of know exactly what you're doing. Um, which I mean, <laughs> It's the dumbest explanation I've ever given for anything. That's like going, yeah, so once you learn how to do something, you can just do it, right? <laughs> I feel like my intelligence goes like to negative one when I start playing anything like this. I'm like, oh yeah, you, you, just, you just do it and then it works. Rather than trying to explain anything in a reasonable manner. Oh, okay, so this is very good. We'll, um, we'll go straight to the surface with this only because I also don't want to die down here and lose it, um, but as I said, we need to come back down for chromatic iron as well, um, which I thought we found early. That's it, actually. We're, we'll check that out afterwards. If so, we are set beyond belief, and we're probably very lucky to have found these things next to each other. Um, because I've watched some people play this and in their initial start Is that it as well? No. Raw uranium. No, that's fine. I was like, really? Yeah, I've seen some people play this at the start and they they end up like strip mining to try and find the vault stone initially because it's again so important that you get a lot of this to start with because you don't get you only find these every so often, like it's a, it's a set chance when you're mining vault stone that you get one, for example. It's not like just this piece here means I'll get a vault stone, because if, if I mine it now, no vault stone. So it's, it's kind of like a little bit of chance, so you want to mine as much as possible at the start, and then I think it gets easier once you're in the actual um, vaults. But we're very lucky boys. Very lucky boys indeed. We might actually have a decent amount of an episode, but it might just be 60 minutes of uncut. <laughs> 20 minutes of cut. But that's fine. That is... Fine. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. I want it all. I want it all. Yeah, I want it all. Oh, we're going to run out of pick. Let's... For the sake of this, let's do this, let's do that, and let's keep mining. Because we still need to mine that chromatic iron down there as well. Oh, 
I'm almost certain that that is chromatic iron. Yeah, there you go. I think it is. Um, there's a lot of decorative mods in here as well, which is nice. You can make a you can make your little little house quite pretty. I think once we've uh, once we've gone back to the surface, I'll uh, I'll end up cutting because I want to try and find out how to turn on the the like what are you looking at mod and stuff because I think it makes it easier for you guys to understand as well because um, I can kind of do it because I've watched a couple playthroughs well not even playthroughs it's a hard game to finish because there is an end goal where you have to collect all of these um, relics um, but there's loads of them and they're very rare so collecting them all is actually quite a, a difficult achievement to do um, I've just realized getting out of here might be a bit of a nightmare but we'll uh, we might have to mine some blocks to be able to actually dig up like build our way up a little bit but that's no problem as long as we've got all of the good stuff we just we'll just mine our way or dig our way out it doesn't matter we've got no food though that is true let's just start eating rotten flesh then oh I so I've um as I've said I've never played this before. I did launch it at one point um in the old version because this is actually version three, the 1.8 update, which has loads of new things that make it a little bit better. There's some changes to how some mechanics are done and stuff, but overall I think the Iskal and the creators are much happier with this version of the pack than it was previously because I think it was more heavily based on other people's mods previously. Um, whereas now they've got a lot of their own stuff included as well. Oh really, we're running out again of room. How much have we got so far? One, two... Can I sort this? Yeah. One, two, three, four stacks of vault, uh, vault stone. Fourteen chipped rocks. Which if we remember, we need four per. So... Quick maths. We can make four? <laughs> that was quick. That was quick, don't judge. We can make four, so that's good. We can make four for now. If we get a couple more, we can make five um, and just kind of keep blitzing through, but we will eventually have to come and find more of this vault rock for more chipped um, vault rocks as well, which is a bit annoying, but as I said, the more we get now, the better. Oof, here we go. Almost finished mining this entire thing out. That's the nice thing that they've done. They do make it spawn in like large veins. Same with the chromatic iron down there. Uh, let's try and organize our inventory then. Uh, let's eat more of this for a second. Uh, let's chuck this away. Let's do, get rid of that for now. We can leave these to be fair, because we still need to grab this. Let's... Oh my god, I'm so jumpy. Let's confirm that this is chromatic iron. Lovely. Okay. Honestly, the only thing that could make this better is if we found diamonds right now. Which I know is probably a, a large leap of faith there, but... We need this for all sorts of things. I think we need this to make the altar. We need this to make everything, so... Again, the more of this... Oh no! Not my death now. No! No! No. You don't kill me. Oh my god. Please, no. Is that... I think that's diamonds over there as well. Tiny, li literally on my crosshair. Here comes a zombie. Okay, we need to start... We need to start wrapping up pretty quick here. Because it's going to get bad, I think, for us. Yeah, he's coming for us. So let's just... Okay, yeah, it's getting bad, it's getting bad. We don't have much health. Cool, 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 cool. But we're getting greedy, we're getting greedy. We're doing it. We need to keep eating rotten flesh. Stay on top of it. Oh no, this is dropping into a, a place below. Okay, we're going to have to go down there. We've dropped too much now. Way too much now. 
let's just jump down. Check that it's clear. Oh, okay, yeah, it is. It's not. It's not a bad little area. Oh, this is so good. Thirty-seven currently. We get probably just about a stack from this, apparently, which is nice. And then we're going to go and investigate that diamond, because if we could get... Well, realistically, realistically we need five to get enchanting, because you need three for a pick to mine obsidian, and then you need two for the actual enchanting altar. Um, so realistically, you do need five, but... We might be able to find some obsidian somewhere, I don't know. If we can get two, though, that would do us quite nicely. Okay, let's go and investigate that possible diamond. If it's safe enough to come over here. Doesn't look like diamonds, it might be uranium. That could be diamonds on the floor there, though. Just trying to keep an eye on what's happening behind us. Okay, right. They're gone. Is that it? That's diamonds, okay. That's good. Let's keep, uh, keep ourselves on a swivel. Keep ourselves on a swivel. Just hope for more than one. Never mind. You can always hope. Nope, okay. There is a skeleton. Bad for us. Very bad for us. Diamonds, diamonds, diamonds. One more, realistically, is what we need to, to call this a success. Oh, it's getting a little laggy. So many creepers. There. Diamonds, right? Yeah, 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 okay. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. If we could get a little bit more than one here. Yes. Three. Okay, so that's a pick at least. That is a pick. Let's consider that... Possibly the best win we could get. But are we going to be greedy? Maybe. Has greed enveloped our heart? Yes, it has. Because we kind of want two more. There's more. Okay. There's a skeleton though. That could be bad for us. Let's lure these guys over here for a second. They also will give me rotten flesh, which has been my source of food. No, 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 Ooh, no. Okay, well, there goes the food that we were... Oh, God. This guy will kill us. No, no. Okay, it's fine, though. All the stuff will be in our body. It's just not easy to get to. Um... Okay, let's remember roughly how we got down here without taking too much damage. Which means landing on the mushroom over here. <laughs> I heard him follow me. <laughs> and he's destroyed our landing mushroom now, which is bad. Um... Hmm, okay. Well, we need that body, because it has literally everything to get started. Is there a better way down? Not really. Um, and now we're stuck here, so... Let's just go. Let's just go. Speed is key. Technically, though, if that, mm, that extra spot of diamonds that we saw has two in it, it would mean this was all worth it. If it doesn't, it's still kind of worth, but just a little bit. 
Well, it's always worth it. We've got everything we need to, to get started. Um, just need to remember how we got there. Okay, so here's this. Yeah, 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 yeah. This was us. We went down this. I think we actually went through here in the end, didn't we? Yeah, right? Yeah, I think we went through here. Which then brings us out to- yeah, 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 yeah. Here. And then we run. Because this was where all of the vault rock was. And there's our death. Okay, cool. Please, skeleton, no. The transfer all items is a saviour. Okay, nothing else in that body. Damn it. Skeleton's still there. My god, guy. Please. Just don't hurt me. He's going to kill us unless we have food. Food. Yes. Let me feast upon your flesh. Let's try and get some health. We can have a little explore. Not really the most of exploring because there are skeletons literally everywhere in this place. But a little explore. There was only one. There was only one. There was only one. Ah, <sighs> kind of want to find a second one, kind of just want to leave this hellhole. Who's on the boat for leave? And who's on the boat for stay? Currently, leave is winning in my mind. But stay for one more diamond. Oh, it sounds bad. Oh, it's bad. It's bad. It's bad. Run. Sprint. Sprint, please. Oh my god, that was close. To our brain. Oh, no, no, no. No, no. Oh, three of them. They're all fighting each other. Have a little skim, maybe. He gives us food. If he wants to come over here. There's two of them. One of them didn't give us food. The other did. One piece. Okay, and it didn't poison us, which is good. Which is really good. Um, I want one more diamond, maybe. I'm being greedy, I know I am. I should leave, but because your inventory doesn't uh, just fall on the floor, it does feel a little bit safer. Okay, that time it poisoned us, but we get some hearts from it. Let's just do this for a second. No! <laughs> oh, it's so typical. I'm going to have to keep a death counter now for how many deaths I've taken in this first episode alone. Just trying to get roughly equipped. Thing is, like, it, it comes down to the point of if we can get... If we can get... Oh, get out of here. If we can get enchanting, we'll do so much better off. You know what would be good for this? Boat clutch. But we don't have boats. Poison us a little bit, but it's food. Keeps us slightly higher health. Okay. We know where we're going now, though. We can speedrun this a little bit. 
I think we just we're gonna go and get our stuff and call it there I think in terms of like the the looting I don't think we're winning this somehow um, to say the least I think we're actually losing um, quite badly we keep getting beaten to death uh, so we went this way it's a shame though because one more diamond is all we need really um, but we've got everything to get started with like food and stuff and that might be the better choice is to get our food situation sorted then come back down hunting um, because at least with food we don't have to do this constant running back and forth because we can't keep our health high enough yeah but at the same time, greed! This guy might have some food for us. He does. Uh, food, 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 food. Don't poison, don't poison. Ah, poison. It's not, I know it's not poison, poison, but it's still not fun. Come on. Okay, we go. I was thinking in my head, the second we hear the ping of an arrow, we leave. And we've heard it. So, that is our reason to go. Which is a bit of a shame. But, we live for another day. And as I said, we'll get our food situation sorted and then we'll, we'll come back. We can still, like, browse as we leave, but... Because there's still a chance, obviously, that where we're coming from will have diamonds. We've just missed them. Unlikely chance, but still a chance. Because we've been pretty eagle-eyed for diamonds. Yeah, so this is, this is where we came from. Um, we go this way, right? Yeah, we do. Cool. No. Oh, another one of these red spawners. I think they spawn a, a load... No, no, no. Oh. I think they spawn a load of enemies to try and just, like, kill you and you get some rewards for winning. We could do with food. Yeah. Feed me your sustenance. No, I don't, I don't. I don't think I want to play around a huge amount with you guys. <gasps> but it didn't hurt me. What doesn't kill me makes me stronger, right? Oh no, 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 no! Half a heart. Too dangerous. Jk. I got them both. It's a witch down there. And a creeper. Nope, not messing around. Just leaving. As long as we're not on half a heart while trying to leave, it's not the worst. So we came out of it with four diamonds. I mean, it's still not bad. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Please. Imagine if I died from water fall damage. That would be embarrassing. Technically, as I said, if we can find some obsidian, we'll do okay. But, again, that requires us to find obsidian rather than mine it, which is a harder feat to achieve. Oh, no. Please, boys. Let's just talk this... No, not a skeleton. Let's just talk this through, please. Let's just talk this through, please. Please, let's just talk... Okay, but we're right by the exit now. So... We just have to go back down, retrieve our stuff, and then we can start progressing on the upside of the world, where life is better. Good, in fact. Let's get some dirt so we can kind of try and block ourselves in a little bit.
Oh, that's bad. That's real bad. Oh my god. Holy Christ. Christ. Christ, please. Be merciful. We're going out this way. <sighs> but there's definitely another entrance that might be easier to go down this side. So if we go around here for a second, this might be our, our golden opportunity to get our stuff and get out. Yeah, I think it's just here. Right? Just here. Because this looks like an easier entrance. Yeah, yeah, much better. And we're going to have more health. As long as we can... Come on, stop! Christ alive, stop! Please, show mercy! Oh, we're definitely dying. We're definitely dying. We're definitely dying. We're definitely dying. Space bar. Space bar. Space bar. We're free. Uh, we need to go back there at some point, but not right now. Oh. If that killed us, just that would just be the, just comical. That would be a good way to to just be like, yeah, just a kick in the teeth. Okay. Right. Let's get ourselves a bit more situated with some food and stuff then. Because that's the only thing stopping us from being good underground. Is we keep starving and then not being able to regen. Which we can do with the this stuff. So how do we make this? Just cook it. Perfect. We don't have any cobble though. Because <laughs> we've left so many furnaces underground. So let's... And we need sand as well actually, for that matter. Uh... Sand. And what do we need for this? Just wood. Okay, just wood. We need sand. Okay, we need to go over this way quickly. To get enough sand. Well, how much is it? It's six, seven sand per jar. And I think you need a jar per animal type. So we need at least 7, 14, like 21 sand would be like a good start. No. <laughs> I was like, no. <laughs> couldn't I couldn't react quick enough to the sheer humility of one coming out of the ground just to kill me out of spite. <sighs> it's like seven to ten deaths now. God damn. <laughs> this game uh, angers me so much. But I'm enjoying it. It's not a bad anger. It's just a why don't I kill myself in real life sort of thing? <laughs> oh. I just wanted to make a, a shovel to make this easier. <laughs> okay, alright. That stone. That stone. Great. <laughs> Is there any actual sand down here? At all? Uh, just... It's no sand at all, it's just gravel. Great, 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 great. Uh, that's very annoying. Why is it gravel beaches? Who loves a gravel beach? Nobody. Oh man alive. Sand, please. Giveth me sand. It's not looking good for the sand adventure. Oh, technically we need chickens as well. So that's 28 sand. If we can even find any. Is that sand? That looks like sand. Yeah, that's sand, okay. So 28 of this. Let's try and keep track of that the best we can. Yeah, 
shouldn't be hard to get 28. Ah, there you go, look. Basically done. And then we'll climb back up to our hill. That is fine. Let's climb back up our hill. Get up there. We'll smelt some of this down. And then start to try and progress a little bit more. We can use two sand. <laughs> now we have to mine. Oh, so resource starved. Okay. Right, well, we need cobble anyway, actually, thinking of that. So let's just grab some cobble for a furnace. Just get out of here now. If we could get 16, we make two. There we go. Okay, I've returned, people. Not really gloriously or anything, just returned. Oh, let's just plant these, just to get them out of my inventory. Uh, oh, there's already potatoes planted here, cool. I wasted all that time. Um, did we have a furnace in here? We didn't. Right, let's do this. Let's put half a stack of you in here. Let's put you in here. Right, now we need wood, plenty of wood, so that we can make the fences. We've got bones, to be fair, if we want to spend them. Let's just do it. There you go, let's try to die as well, give us an iron. Very loud, very loud. Please die already. Christ. You're longing this out. Stop longing this out. Got it. Okay. So this needs three and a, a thing. He's now dead. Let's just grab that iron. Uh, we need to make... What? We have enough for that. Yeah, that's weird. Uh, so we need two each. So I think nine sets does us for... Um, yeah, four, which is fine. So that'll be our first animal pen. Um, we could sleep, to be fair. That might help us. Sweet dreams are made of these. Who am I to disagree? Um, there we go. We need to start putting some stuff away. Let's put away the important stuff for now. Uh, yeah, okay, cool. So now we can do this. We can come out here and I can do that. Plus that. And now I can start to collect cows. Yeah, okay. So now every cow I collect adds to that number. Um, I should probably make the rest of the jars for now. Um, basically, so it now says one cow. Um, and then when I put them on their um, into their pens, that number will just increase uh, when I breed them. It'll make sense in a second. It'll make a lot of sense. Uh, let's do this. I think there are sheep over here and a cow as well. So let's come over here while the rest of that cooks. Because I just don't want to go all the way down the hill. Um, but it basically replicates an entire um, Minecraft farm in, in one block. Saving you a lot of lag, a lot of space. Um, it's good. And then you can kill them as well in there without having to like, I don't know, like do anything weird, which is good. 
I think you can even shear the sheep. Um, like you can get all the different drops from them because you can actually put most animals in here. I think you can even put bees. So it's good to kind of try and collect what you can um, because it's going to make your life a little bit easier in the long run. Because as I said, there's a lot of farms that you need to create to be able to actually um, to do these uh, vault crystals. Because it might be like, oh, you need a thousand wool or a thousand mutton. And then you're like, well, where am I getting a thousand mutton from? And you'll see how quick these numbers build up in a second. Uh, I'll grab this, because this is going to be the wheat we need to breed them. And we need to build some farms as well. Let's go back into our house real quick and get the rest of the stuff so that we can then go down and is this grown? this is grown just need food oh. sustenance okay, right there you go, that's the rest of our glass done which means we should be able to now make another two of these which will be chickens and pigs. Um, then we just need three, three. That's the four there done. So now we just need to go and basically fill these jars with the animals that we need. We don't have to like fill fill. Um, just like as many as you can to start with is very helpful. Um, just speeds up the process of like breeding them and stuff. So, Piggle. I don't know how you get um, eggs from the chickens, actually. There must be a way, though. But we're doing good, actually. This should be a, a good amount to start with, that we've collected of cows, at least. Uh, what are we at? 15, 15, yeah. We're doing, we're doing a good doing a good job here actually um, need to cross the water to get more of the pigs I think you need at least two to get started because of course breeding you can't breed one with one um, do the babies count towards one? no too small to fit in a jar you'd think that would be easier but no If you do the different coloured sheep as well, um, you can shear, you shear whatever the first one was that you put in. So you see, the first one I put in there is a white sheep, so it will only be white wool that we will get. If I put a different coloured sheep in there, we would have got different coloured wool. We're looking for chickens now, realistically. We've kind of got everything else. Chickens. I did see some a while ago, right? Hmm. Okay. God, there's tons of sheep. We'll have a good start for sheep and cows, I think. I think you can take them out, maybe, as well, one at a time. I don't know. We'll have to look into it, because I'm just thinking, like, should I be gathering all of these? Because they're all going to be white wool, as I said. So, like, there we go. Chicken. Right? Chicken. Cool. I think there are ducks in this as well. We don't need ducks. We need chickens. I think once we've collected these chickens, we'll go back, because I don't need that many to start with. Um, and I've got plenty of other animals. I just need to get a good beginning. Maybe you just right click on them I think for eggs, I'm not sure. I think you can shear for feathers. Um, is that all of them? That looks to be all of them. Okay, we'll head back. Oh, there you go. Lovely. A couple more will do. We could also probably be breaking these because we need seeds of course to breed the chickens. The more seeds the better. you still need to feed them the, the same item that they need for breeding. 
just it'll, it'll it'll make a lot more sense in a second when I actually go and do all of this. Right here we go. A couple more cows because why not? While we're walking up this way, I'm saving this guy from the edge. Think of it as safe. So what did we end up with? 26, 34, 9, and 11. Those are pretty good numbers. Pretty good numbers. Uh, so then we come back up our hill. Climb in the hill, uh, yeah, climb in the hill. Ba, ba, ba. Maybe not the best place to have a base all the way at the top of the hill, but we live and we learn. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use some of this polished vault stone as well to kind of make it look a bit nicer. And we're going to put our animals in this building over here for now, I think. Because that's what, one, two, three, four, yeah, perfect. And then we put our four pens. So we go one, two, three, four. And then we do chickens. Uh, pigs, sheep, cows. And now you can see, uh, well actually, it would be nicer if they were in the ground. Can I? Yeah, I can. Cool. Uh, I would prefer it if they were one down, actually. So we're not even going to use the polished vault stone. We are just going to put them on the floor, because then we get to see the numbers. There we go. Uh, cows, mm -hmm. sheep, chickens, and pigs. So now if you hover over... Oh, eggs ready. Grab a bucket. Oh, you use buckets to get eggs. Got it. Um, but you can see basically, if I take this, we've got 26 and 34. If I half this, I can give that, and now we have 39. Um, and you basically do that. They get their models get a little bit bigger, um, and yeah, we've now got animals a little bit sorted. And then when you want food, obviously you just hit one. So we get ourselves some steak and some leather. That'll do, right? Let's take it four more. One, two, three, four. There we go. Now we've got a lot of steak, which we can go and cook in our house, which is this way. Yeah, it's just covered by the trees. Um, we can come over here, we can chuck this in here, and now we've got a reasonable supply of food. Uh, then we can come over here, and we can kind of try and organize this a little better. Uh, let's try and make this a bit better, in fact. We're gonna really just demolish it all and start again. I think we need beetroots for the pigs. So that's something we're gonna have to find. Uh, let's just demolish through all of that. Uh, so this was potatoes. And then for now, we'll do wheat here. Cool. So I think that's where we're gonna end this first episode. I don't know how much of an episode we've got here. Um, but I'm hoping enough for at least a 20 minute episode um, and then in the next episode I think what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to set up some bigger farms So we can breed the animals a bit better and go from there, but this is a nice little home We've got the villagers. We'll start maybe doing some trading next session um, And yeah, we'll see what we can do, but for now. Thank you for joining and Goodbye. See you in the next one. Have fun. I hope you enjoy. Leave a comment if you did. Tell me what you want me to do and we'll go from there.